Welcome back. The success of The Harder They Come spawned the creation of several other Jamaican films. But to date, none has been able to repeat their claim that the Jimmy Cliff starred cult classic has achieved globally. A big question swirling right now is whether the newest Jamaican film could change the situation. I quit my job today. So how do you plan on coming up with your part of the rent? The film is called Jamaican Mafia and its leading men are with us right now, right here on stage. We're talking about, well, for a long time and still, Jamaica's leading man, Paul Campbell and Michael Fox. Right now, right here on our stage. Gentlemen, Paul. My, my friend Paul. How are you doing? Good to see you, sir. Good to see you. Congratulations. Good All right. to be here. Good to be here. We haven't heard from you in a little while and we, we're always wondering what Jamaica's leading man is up to. And when we heard a movie's coming where you're, you're credited in more than one ways, talk about your credits on this Jamaican Mafia film. Well, I, I'm talent uh, as mm -hmm. well as artistic director yes. on the piece and producer. Okay, so three big credits in this one. Yes. Congrats again, sir. Thank you, my brother. Welcome. And your credit is as? Screenwriter, lead actor. Lead actor. All right, gentlemen, talk about it for a minute. Tell me now. What is this movie about? Well, this movie is about a family. Yes. A Jamaican family. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's uh, set in a sort of gangster genre, uh, hence the Jamaican Mafia. Uh, the, it's about a man that I play. The character's name is Soji, mm -hmm. and he has a nephew, where Michael plays Julian Anderson. And, of course, he, Julian is a frustrated corporate uh, person and decides to give it up when he meets his uncle, who is the, the underboss of the Jamaican Mafia, okay. the patriarch. And uh, what we uh, explore in this film is, is the relationship between them both, mm -hmm. as far as family is concerned, the family's loyalty, the family's determination, the family commitment, commitment to family. And that is what is more explored than the shoot him up and the bang bang. Okay, so it's, it's a strong emphasis here on family. Yes, yes. Family, family values. Family values. Though it's in a gangster setting. Though it's set in a gangster genre. Yeah, I mean, the uh, film that comes to mind very quickly is The Godfather. See, as much as, as violent as they were, I mean, the family aspect of it, uh, they were very true to each other. You know, they would never snitch on each mm -hmm. other, that kind of thing, you know, kept it going. And so this is what this film uh, is all about. All right, let's take a look at the trailer right now. My name is Zulian Anderson. I'm about to share my true life story about how I got involved with the notorious Jamaican Mafia gang. You're home early. I quit my job today. So how do you plan on coming up with your part of the rent? Your uncle got up if you see us still. I don't want you mix up with them wicked man then. I want to groom you to be the next underboss of the Jamaican Mafia family. I am the captain. I send the orders down and the money come up. Soldier, someone for sure they're on it. I don't want you around Soji and his posse when their enemies catch up to them. I will give up my life for the Jamaican Mafia family. Let me introduce myself to you. I'm me named Zuzu. Me are in the family now. If you think my father did cool, me frozen. Michael, um, is this your, your biggest role on film? Yes, I would say this is my biggest role. Mm -hmm. um, I was the lead actor in Bashment, which did real good, but um, I think Jamaican Mafia is going to propel me to a higher status. Mm -hmm. Okay, so a, a quick summary of who you were before all this. Well, I'm Michael Fax, the actor mm -hmm. and screenwriter of from... Of Jamaican descent? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes you I live was... offshore, though? Where yeah, I, I grew up in Kingston, mm -hmm. 
and then I went to the United States to live. Yes. You know, and um, I've been representing Jamaica since I've been to the States. Okay. And um, I wrote Bashman, mm -hmm. which premiered in all the movie theaters in Jamaica in 2007. Mm -hmm. And since I've done Bashman, now Jamaican Mafia has been the biggest production I'm involved with up to date. Okay. Paul, I may want to put you on the spot right now to ask you to remind our young viewers mm -hmm. uh, watching now uh, of some of your titles, some of your achievement, <laughs> of your achievement. Uh, it's a funny yeah. question to ask a man like you, Paul. But Way back. Some of, for me, <laughs> some of your big, your big achievements in, 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 um, in acting, especially on, the, on, on screen. Well, uh, first achievement is to my realizing and my passion. Yes. You know, mm -hmm. uh, that's a great achievement for me. Uh, the, my films, uh, I started with a film called The Lunatic. Mm -hmm. And uh, from there on, we uh, moved. I'm, seven years later, we did a film here in Jamaica called uh, Dance All Queen. Mm -hmm. uh, big one, that one. That, that went really big, you know, and uh, that wonderful film because it, uh, for the very first time, you know, not taking anything away from the heart that they come, it showed the real gritty side of life in Kingston, Yes, you know, which uh, uh, our people could identify with. And I think that is what made it as successful. And uh, after that, there was Third World Cup. Mm -hmm. uh, Third World Cup was quite successful too. It has a tagline that talks about it being the highest grossing film out of Jamaica, out of the Caribbean. Caribbean yes. I'm very happy for that. Uh, and then we moved on. I moved on to Shutters. I, uh, the other day I did a film um, called Romeo and Juliet in Harlem, mm -hmm. where I spoke only Shakespeare language, <laughs> <laughs> which is good, you know, oh, because yeah. you don't want to be typecast in any way because mm -hmm. my, the trend has been for me to play the villains, mm -hmm. you know. So all these films are Shutters. Uh, um, I did a film the other day, a kind of bad guy to Home Again which was done by a Canadian, uh, Jamaicans living in Canada, uh, called Hungry Eyes Production. Uh, we mm -hmm. shot a film called Home Again, which spoke about the deportation of Jamaicans all over the world coming home. Mm -hmm. But a sad thing about it, it was shot in Trinidad instead of Jamaica. Oh, yes. But that's politics yeah. there. Yes. You know, so this is how it's been going. And um, Michael met with Michael, and I've seen his work before in Bashment, as he mm -hmm. spoke of. And uh, we decided to really come together and uh, make this something really, you know, so who to is be reckoned with. Who is executive producing this? There are several people who are on board as producers, executive producers. There is uh, Orville Matheson, mm -hmm. there's Elvis Griffiths, and there is Dale Fatty. These are Jamaicans? Um, uh, except for Dale, except mm -hmm. for Dale, who is Italian, wonderful woman. Oh. You know, um, Matheson and Griffiths are Jamaican. I mean, it's largely what we try to do as well, to, to, to like, like it really is, authentically so, living in America, living in New York City, you have Grenadians, you have Jamaicans, you have everybody there. And so with this project, we, have, we had everybody from uh, the Caribbean, uh, you know, taking part into it, coming together to make this project happen. Uh, Vafomba Donzo is yes. a, an African brother who directs the piece, Jamaican Mafia, okay. you know, and I'm very proud of that side of uh, us coming together. And when I say us, mm -hmm. I'm meaning all of the Caribbean people and African people coming together to make this production what it is. Okay. All right. So the question of violence, another Jamaican topic movie with violence all over it, Paul, or do you... How do you answer that? I'm sure you're getting, you're getting those questions. Well, uh, all the time, you know. Um, uh, the, the only sad thing is uh, that, that the um, Hollywood folks don't get it. It's only when I come home where, with a well, hard-earned piece of project, you know, my own people get on me in this respect. Uh, what it is, more than anything else, is an hour and 20 minutes of pure entertainment. Yes. It's nothing that is going to teach people to, after you leave the theater, you go do this or you become one of the characters. It's just a film. It's just a movie. And like I said before, we're not really sold on the gangster element of it, you know, but what we're sold on is the values as far as the family structure is concerned in the film. You know, and this is from the beginning of the film right throughout to the end. Okay, Michael, so talk a little bit about your character and how difficult it is to play this bad guy, this 
this tough bad guy that you're, you're playing in this film? Well, I play Zulian Anderson. He's the guy who quits his job and reunites with his uncle. Yes. And his uncle runs the Jamaican Mafia family. So um, Paul Campbell's character, Soji, he grooms Zuzu into being the underboss. You know, but um, coming from the corporate world, you know, he makes such a deep transformation. You know, so I had to really get prepared for the role. Mm -hmm. I mean, I had a few experiences in real life that helped me in the process. Okay. You know, oh, really? yeah, because I was around all those elements, but mm -hmm. I didn't do the life, but I was around the life. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you, you wasn't too hard for you to find some, right. some references. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so I took a little color from a lot of individual, in, individuals that I used to be around mm -hmm. and made it into, you know, Zulian Anderson. What are the early reviews you're getting from this, from your role in this film? Well, so far, since I've been to Jamaica, everybody's quoting a specific line that I did in the movie mm -hmm. that was in the trailer. You know, so they're really feeling the energy of the transformation that Zuzu makes in the movie, yes. you know? So I think I did a great job because coming from a, a corporate nerd mm -hmm. to being the monster that <laughs> these people see in the trailer, yeah, yeah I think, it, you know, I did, I did a good job. Uh, Paul, uh, what are the prospects uh, uh, for, this, for this film to unseat, for want of a better word, <laughs> something like um, the harder they come? Well, as far as unseating, I hope none of that is, comes into play. Uh, they all have their own charm. Mm -hmm. And uh, Jamaican Mafia, who we, that is now, is just going to be that now and with new elements. You know, yes. there's some wonderful charm in uh, The Harder They Come. Jimmy, the gully, the people, you know, the shanty thing, you know. And I think in, um, in a very big way, this one is going to be removing that shanty because when anything goes out in Jamaica, the image is always very ghetto, very yes. hug out, lie down in a dirty water. No, we move from that. Okay. We're in mansions. We're driving the hottest cars, uh, the, the fabulous 6 g As This is also true of Jamaica, Jamaica yeah. too. <laughs> yeah, because that's who we are. We yes. are a proud set of people, mm -hmm. and we reflect that in this. Uh, as far as production value is concerned, it's way up to the top. But it was shot on location in, in New York, I'm told. The story is very factual. There are very factual elements in the story, and um, it all took place with the Jamaicans living in New York at the time. Yes. You know, so it was all shot there. Mm, wow. Okay, so it's it's set for for premiering in this month of August. August twenty seventh. Where? In Greenacres Mall, Sunrise Cinemas. Okay. Queens. Yeah. In Queens. Mm -hmm. So we, we will see it when in Jamaica. We're in a little mini tour just after the opening in a tri state area and we'll do the eastern seaboard. Uh, of the United okay. States, and at the end of that... You're going all the way up to Canada. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and at the end of that, we'll come back to Jamaica, because one of the, uh, the reasons for doing this is uh, when you do sit down with a distribution company, it's good yes. that you have numbers, mm -hmm. you know, where the person dealing with it will say, hey, you know, the people are cl clamoring for this. It okay. makes sense, you know. So there's no distribution deal yet, then? No, not, not at this moment, no. Okay, so you're going to do the the Eastern Seaboard and hope to pick up some numbers we that will. will impress yeah, a distribution uh, uh, company. Mm -hmm. We have three people that we are talking to now, but they, you know, like I said, we, we're taking it in stages. Okay. You know, and uh, it's always good when you have two people really interested in your work, you know? I mean, you can always, but let's see how the numbers turn out. All right. Well, they're listening right now. They're watching Paul. Wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> then they, um, of course, they'll be clamoring to go see this. To see young Michael here, you know, his no, glory. He, he's, he's very brilliant in, in the part, very brilliant. And uh, the greatest thing about anybody who wants to get to a particular point, the number one charged rule is listen. You have to listen. And he does that very well. Okay. All right, gentlemen. Much love. Paul Campbell, sir, uh, as usual. Always yeah. so good to have you. Always, always. Always good to see you, sir, and continue to fly the flag for us. I yeah, man. Be Michael respect, Fox. Man. Blessed love, sir. Bless, bless. Congratulations. We look forward to the role and see how you, how you win.
fans and become the big star that you are searching to be, right? A big superstar in the, You'll get there, yes, in the movies. All right, there you have them right here on stage, leading men in Jamaica's latest, latest film, Jamaican Mafia. Winford Williams, on behalf of all of us, thanking you for joining us. Do join us again next week for more on stage. Me love Jamaica, me not sell out. Them try clip we wings, somehow we can't fly out. But when we there, yard, yeah, nothing nice like Jamaica, roast bread, fruit and banana. Under the tree with a glass of lemonade, jumping on the river when me ready for bed. No boy can't buy me out, me no foreign minded, no way compared to Jamaica. Uh. Jamaica love, we wanna feel Jamaica love. Everybody wanna visit Jamaica. Jamaica love, Jamaica. Jamaica love, we wanna see Jamaica love. That wanna represent the citizens of Jamaica. Jamaica love, Jamaica. Represent where you're born. Two no hurricane and star. From the time we are dropped, me no matter about tax man, still a hustle hard and a gwan. Jamaican of the link to the link. Pick a neck, Canadian, American, England. Make sure say when you're there, I'm not a hustle, mama.